Hi, I'm going to show you how to use a Detroit Thermo tool to take off the um, clutch and hub from a Denso compressor. Uh, this compressor happens to be off a of Corolla, but this type is used on a lot of different um, applications. Um, Jeep applications, Dodge and Jeep. Um, the, the full list of applications is, is down in the description, but it's a lot. Um, all of these have a steel sort of guard that protects the pulley. The pulley is plastic, so I'm pretty sure that this guard uh, just prevents rocks from chipping this plastic pulley. So I'm going to show you how to take off the everything and replace it with a replacement uh, pulley and hub assembly that I also sell. Uh, this is a tool. This is a laser cut steel tool and I've CNC drilled and bored uh, six holes. So there are three large pins in a pattern on this side and there are three small pins on a pattern on this side. And these Large pins have also been machined so that they have a, a groove in them and that that keeps the tool from uh, From popping out of this outer piece um, Makes it basically uh, You can do it with one hand without without risking it popping out and uh, These small pins you don't need that uh, So I'm also going to use a seven millimeter um, six point socket three eighths drive uh, you really do need a three eighths drive because there is way too much torque for a quarter inch drive um, i'm going to use a mid-length socket uh, that's the mid-length i'm going to use a uh, a deep socket will also work and a short socket will not work um, most brands uh, engage with the the hex on the shaft maybe a millimeter or two and you're you're just going to strip it because you're just going to round it off because that is a um, that's a shop that's a soft shaft so I'm going to use this mid-length on my 3 8 ratchet handle okay so uh, there are two pieces there's this outer steel piece and an inner hub and they are just threaded to the compressor shaft so uh, it is a right hand thread so you're gonna you're gonna put this ratchet on the seven millimeter hexagon and so you're actually at that point you're on the shaft of the compressor you're gonna turn the compressor shaft clockwise and you're gonna use this tool to turn the outer hub counterclockwise so those little grooves lock in and now it, it doesn't fall out which is really handy if you're under the car okay and this takes quite a bit of torque okay pop it loose like that now this outer piece will just spin off this one's nice and bent. Okay, an inner hub. Uh, the inner hub has these little uh, breakaway features. These parts of the hub are thin aluminum. They're designed to break away because if the uh, compressor fails, then this just becomes an idler pulley and it doesn't break your accessory drive belt. So these are supposed to be small and delicate, uh, which is why I don't think you want to use an impact wrench on this. You want to use a, a wrench like this that, um, that fits into the feature so that you can apply a, a torque with no shocks. Okay, the thread is the same, so the direction is the same. I'm going to turn the, sh the compressor shaft clockwise. I'm going to turn the tool counterclockwise. Okay, after it pops loose, I can just spin the whole assembly 
and can you see the compressor shaft? It's it's stationary and the hub is just walking itself out the threads. There it goes. Okay, all these little isolators. Um, sometimes it might uh, also turn the compressor shaft so you might need to reach in with your socket and hold that shaft a little bit while you while you spin it. Okay, next the snap ring has to come off. Uh, this can be done in two different ways. Um, because there are these little windows, you can use two screwdrivers to sort of pry this out and up. Uh, if you look at my other videos, I do this to a, a German OEM application Denso compressor. Uh, by far the easiest way is to use nice right angle snap ring pliers. These are Nipex. Um, and these work because they open wide enough. This snap ring, you can see the, the holes in the ear are already pretty far apart. It's not a conventional snap ring. So you need pliers that open far enough to actually pop it out of the groove. And these Nipex do the job. Uh, even so, this hole is so close to the compressor nose that you cannot get a well, you can't get this pair of snap ring pliers in there, so I have to pry it out just a touch so I can get a, a hole in there. Same thing over here. Okay, and then it's a piece of cake to pull it out. Okay. So, if this bearing is still good, and the inner race, if the bearing hasn't seized and the inner race hasn't spun on the nose, you can just slip this off. This bearing is a slip fit. If it's, uh, <clears throat> if the bearing is partially seized and it's, it's spun on the nose, then it's sort of worn itself a groove or welded itself, you're gonna need a puller. Um, this kind of rib puller, is really fantastic. Um, I sell these. You can also get them lots of lots of places. Okay, it's that easy. And then you've got a uh, a jack screw that you can turn to pull this pulley off. Um, this will probably break the pulley if that bearing is really stuck on there. Okay, so now replacement pulley. These are, if you look in my uh, items sold on eBay, these are these are one of my items for sale. These are uh, really excellent quality. Same sort of uh, thin aluminum break, breakaway feature, um, nice quality bearing, same basic design of isolators as Denso, um, and a perfect fit for Corolla. Okay, it goes on like that. Snap ring goes back in. After you get the snap ring in, you gotta make sure that he snaps down in there. Um, sometimes, because of tolerances, it's a uh, the snap ring can be a pretty tight fit, and so you might want to get a big screwdriver and wedge between this steel insert in the pulley and the snap ring, and sort of pry the the snap ring into there. This is sitting fine because the holes are the holes in the snap ring are back where they were. Okay, this hub spins back on. See it walking down the shaft. This, the same thing can happen here, as I mentioned before. Um, 
that inside thread could be turning the compressor shaft. So you might need to slip the end of the socket over it to hold the compressor shaft. Okay, so I reverse the direction of my ratchet. Now I'm going to turn the compressor shaft counterclockwise and I'm going to turn the pulley clockwise. And the steel protector goes back on. Um, strictly speaking, this isn't necessary for function. The compressor would work like this, but this is a uh, stone guard. So um, most compressors are low mounted on the engine and uh, right where rocks tend to be kicked up by the tires. So if your car maker put that steel protector on, you should put it back. Done.